you guys most likely know, uh, Milo Yiannopoulos, who is the um, neo-Nazi white nationalist prick who um, had the UC Berkeley riots prevent him from speaking there, he was on uh, Real Time with Bill Maher on Bill Maher's show, who's this really progressive dude, you know, um, very liberal and all that, which most of the time he is. But this is an interesting uh, op-ed from CNN. And that's rare, you know. I'm never, I'm not really gonna give CNN all that much credit, but this is amplify amplifies what I'm trying to say because not only was there a big argument as to hey we should let them on, but when you let them on, you better let the floods go and like shoot the hell out of it. Like you better let loose, attack everything, go at him, like expose this man. And at the very least, if you're gonna let him on, do that. But the thing is, he didn't do that. He, like, legitimately agreed with half of the things that they talked about. Was the free speech and all this one. Now, first of all, universities can um, disinvite you, which UC Berkeley should have just done. But uh, am I going to um, support violence? No, I'm not going to. Am I going to eviscerate people trying to prevent neo-Nazis from spreading their, um, <laughs> their want for ethnic cleansing? Also not going to do that. So... The thing here is, is that, okay, I understand why you had him on. Now do your thing, dude. Eviscerate the guy, right? He didn't do that. And I'm going to read you guys from some from here. It says, by inviting alt-right uh, darling Milo Yiannopoulos, by the way, who's gay and he's Christian. What irony. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, onto his HBO show Friday night, Bill Maher could have seized a great opportunity to expose Yiannopoulos' history of hate. That's what I'm saying. Um, what the fuck? Uh, let me see here. Bill Maher could have seen... Or sorry, sorry. After all, Yiannopoulos has spewed so much toxic garbage that he was permanently banned by Twitter in 2016, which says a lot considering the cesspool that swirls on the platform. And just know that um, I believe that he actually was retweeting and putting tweets out that were totally made up about Leslie Jones. So that's slander, so... You know, you can look into that yourself. So when Maher faced Yiannopoulos on Friday, did the HBO host press him on his view that college rape culture is a fiction and that women are often lying when they report being raped? Did Maher ask him about his anti-Semitic comment that Jews run the media, or did he ask why Yiannopoulos wore a Nazi iron cross when he was younger? Did Maher press him on demonization of transgender people as, in essence, sexual predators? And here's the funny thing. They say no. Instead, Mar actually bonded with the extremist author and lecturer on their shared anti-Muslim views. Yiannopoulos complimented Mar, "You're sound on Islam, unlike most of the people on your show." To which Mar goingly responded, "Yes, that's true." Holy fuck, dude! You're agreeing with Milo Yiannopoulos, dude. Like, when do you look at your views and you go, "Holy shit, I'm agreeing with a, a white nationalist neo-Nazi." uber right-wing, eth pro-ethnic cleansing, racist motherfucker. At what point? This dude's having a bromance, like, making out with him on his show. It's unbelievable. And he even agreed with him on transgenderism. I couldn't believe it. What the hell is that? Look at this. Um, see, although when Mara remarked that all religions were stupid and dangerous, of course he said that. Of course he said he's trying to get off with the little thing, you know? Um... Yiannopoulos pushed back, noting that as a Catholic, he thinks his own faith is great. Why does it say in your scripture to kill to kill gays? And you can look at the Bible, and I've shown the verses, is that uh, multiple times, and it's not that bullshit Jesus story, literal verses in the Quran, sorry, not Quran, the Bible, and I'm sure it's in the Quran too, but in the Bible, there's so many of them, it says, if you sleep with the man, you should be put to death legitimately look it up and i can show you guys in the comments i can refer you to them if you really ask um anyways you know there's nothing nicer than seeing two people who appear to be on different ends of the political spectrum bond over how much they dislike islam right and no question mar and yiannopoulos do indeed appear to be in lockstep when it comes to muslims yiannopoulos writing that america has a muslim problem has conflated all muslims with isis and has even defended loathing of muslims with the comment fear of islam is entirely rational Okay, even though this, the doctrines are the same. Um, anyways, so, uh, I mean, I don't know where it's in here about that, but uh, something you should know also is that he's a Breitbart editor. So, if you're a Breitbart editor, period, you probably know that uh, 
You know that the person is ridiculous. But um, I don't have the quote verbatim here because it's not in this article, but I did read the quote. It said that um, he was not for the transgender uh, transgenders being able to use the bathroom that is not their biological sex or the opposite of that. So I guess like if a, um, if a guy becomes a woman and then they're going into woman bathrooms, I think he's not for that. And what Bill Maher said was, that is not unreasonable. So it's like these people are so uncomfortable because they have a, a disorder that can only be solved by that. Um, by that, you know, uh, the process or the switch. And they are already so uncomfortable and so out of shape. You have to go on TV and say, you know, it's not unreasonable that you want to just make people more uncomfortable, hate themselves more, more inclined to suicide. Like, Doug, like, if you're worried about people peeing in bathrooms like i don't even know what's wrong with you show me a statistic show me a stat show me anything even one case a uh, real case not from breitbart not from fox news not from these guys not an op-ed but uh, something that actually happened that has to do with that so i'm disgusted that he went on there to make out with him have a bromance and in the next uh episode i'm going to cover larry wilmore who lost his show who is actually badgering this motherfucker 